The Indian skipper is a mean run machine on the field, having broken several batting records. But he too has a human side to himself. He loves playing in white coloured shoes, especially while batting. Kohli himself admitted that his wearing white shoes is more of a superstition. Having captained India to a win in the 2007 T20I and 2011 ODI finals and more than 10,000 ODI runs under his belt, Mahendra Singh Dhoni is nothing short of a living cricketing legend. Apart from success, the other constant in his cricketing career has been the number 7 jersey. He flaunts number 7 as he was born on the 7th day of the 7th month, 7th of July. The dynamic Indian opening batsman may have scored two double centuries in ODI cricket and has the ability to swing any match when he gets going. But he too has his own mantra for stepping into the cricket ground. Rohit is believed to always step into a cricket ground with his right leg first. Maybe this right entry gets him going. The former India under-19 batting star has made a successful transition to T20I cricket and is now donning KKR colours. But he too has a secret weapon which has nothing to do with skill but everything to do with being a lucky charm. A red handkerchief. When Gil was playing under 16, he was going through a bad patch with low scores. He switched the colour of his handkerchief from white to red and ended up with a century. Since then, he has always come to bat with a red handkerchief. Steve Smith is considered the first among equals in global cricket, even ahead of Virat Kohli, due to his consistency and phenomenal batting average in today's cricket. But he also has a laborious ritual in place before every ball, which has now become a common sight on a TV screen. He touches the left pad, right pad, box, tap in the middle, behind his foot lookout before facing each delivery. What more can one say about Sachin Tendulkar than what has already been written or said about the god of cricket? But even gods have their fancies and Tendulkar would be no different. Tendulkar always puts on his left pad first while padding up, as he believes this brought him good luck. Saurav Ganguly was considered one of the best cricketing brains during his time, when he converted the Indian side into a formidable force in global cricket. The god of offside too has a human weakness. Ganguly always carried a photo of his master or Guruji with him before he went to bat just like a good old lucky charm. Regarded as one of the best captains to have ever donned cricket flannels, Steve Waugh's men beat all but one team during their heydays. Except for a win against India in India, they had dominated world cricket in the late 90s and early 2000s. Even Waugh had a particular fad. He never entered the cricket field without a handkerchief which was given to him by his late grandfather. A left-arm bowler, Zaheer Khan was India's spearhead in the pace attack and would go on to scalp around 600 international wickets in his career. Khan also loved handkerchiefs, except his favourite colour was yellow. He would always carry a yellow handkerchief with him before he came on to bowl in international cricket. One of the unsung heroes of Indian cricket, Mohinder Amarnath is remembered for his heroic and pain-defying acts on the cricket field. Amarnath was also the man of the match in the 1983 ODI World Cup semi-final and final which India won. Like War, he too always carried a red handkerchief as he thought it was his lucky charm. Boy, lucky charm it was for India which won the 1983 World Cup going into the tournament as underdogs. TOI Online Report